Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about something that happened to me. Um, and then I'm going to talk about um, some TV, full TV shows. Because I want to do things differently this time. I, I keep, I'm, I'm constantly doing Beth and Body Works and makeup stuff. I want to do something different this time. And I'm constantly do the typical tag videos, whatever. But, um, okay, but I want to talk about um, something that happened. Now, you all know I've been talking about my fake friends. There's so many friends that I choose to have into my life that backstab me, do things to me, whatever it is, and there's this one particular friend that um, I really did care about, and I gave her chance after chance after chance after chance. I mean, it was ridiculous, and all she did was lie to me. That was our main, main, main issue, was that she would lie to me about everything. Everything. She lied about getting beat up, she lied about, I mean, just the craziest stuff, but I really did care about her, and we had good times together, we had fun, so I, I wanted to still be her friend, you know, I, I was trying really hard to see the good in her. Um, but this last stunt was, like, literally the last nail in the coffin. Um, what happened was, was that a couple of months ago, um, she told me she lied about getting beat up, you know, she... I know it's crazy, like, she she supposedly got beat up and then she lied about it because she got she was mad at her ex, her boyfriend or something, so she lied about getting beat up and she told this lie to everyone, including myself. And I got really pissed at her and I hung up the phone and I cursed her or whatever it was. Like, I got really pissed, like, this was like the 10th hundred lie she told me. And this is a crazy lie to make up, like, getting beat up is, is, a, is a crazy lie. So, um... I was on the phone with her, whatever. I was on the phone with one of her, her boyfriend, uh, the boyfriend at the time. I don't even know. And um, I was just like, you know, I'm really done with Lauren's lies, whatever. And, he, and then he had the nerve. Her boyfriend had, uh, yeah, her boyfriend had the nerves. Asked me, were you really her friend this whole time? Like, were you really her friend? And I hung up the phone because I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, was I really her friend this whole time? Of course I was. What the hell are you talking about? So I hung up the phone on him, whatever it was, and I just didn't talk to them for a month. A month later, I, uh, she messaged me. She's like, you know, I'm really upset with you. I'm really, really upset like this. And the other thing I said, what's wrong? She, when my boyfriend got off the phone with you, he told me that you were telling him that you weren't really my friend the whole time. And I said, no, that's not true. I said, when he asked me if I was your real friend this whole time, which is a ridiculous question to ask, like, that's, he has some goddamn nerve, I decided to hang up on him. So I did not continue that conversation. So no, I did not tell him that I was pretending to be a friend because I didn't answer the question. I hung up on him. And she's like, you know what, I don't talk to him anymore, he's crazy, whatever, I don't talk to him anymore, I don't talk to him anymore, I don't talk to him anymore, like, like I thought he changed, whatever, whatever. I said, okay, fine. So I said, we, we can continue to start talking if, if you don't talk to that guy, because he caused a lot of trouble that night, you know, lying to you, and you lied to me, and you, there's just a whole big lie, like, really. So she was just, and I didn't care, like, like she can continue talking to him, the fact was that she was lying to me about it, there was the other lie. So this is where the story comes into play. I was, she has this webcam show on Chatterbait, which is a, a masturbation site, whatever the hell it is. I don't go on it, so I don't know what it is. But she does it, so sometimes I go on to, to laugh at her, because it's just funny to watch it. She's, it's like a, it's literally like a sitcom watching her. Like, so, um, I'm watching the video, and I hear the, I hear him. I can't say names, so I can't really say the names. But I hear him, like, in the background in the video. So not only did she lie about... Okay, so she lied about right there again. She lied about um, talking to him, her boyfriend, whoever he is. She lied about talking to him. And she's literally... I'm on the phone with her, and I'm watching her on cam, and I'm telling her, so you don't talk to that guy anymore, right? You don't talk to, she's like, no, no, I don't. Ever since I found out he lied about what you said, um, I don't talk to him anymore. Well, he's literally butt-ass naked sitting next... Laying next to her in her bed while she's fucking herself with a dildo. Excuse me. So I'm literally like in total shock. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. And then um, while I'm talking to her, she's not she's not telling me she's on cam. I know she's on cam because I'm watching her, but she's not telling me. So while she while she's, she's ta while she's talking, she, she's fucking herself with a dildo, and it's vibrating every time like people tip her on the video. So she's like moaning, moaning like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" You know? And she's like, "Oh, I I'm getting a constipation. I'm getting I'm 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 having a shit attack. I'm I'm like liquid diarrhea is coming out. I need to call you. Oh my god, I got." Which is ridiculous because I'm watching her getting fucked with a dildo and she's telling me this another yet another lie on top of another lie on the phone. So I end up hanging up on her and the next day um, I pretty much seen enough. So the next day I messaged her. I said, you know what, honestly, I said, 
I'm completely done. I really am. And I, I was videotaping the webcam. So I sent her the videos. I said, you can't lie about it because these are the proof. And then I blocked her off. I said, bye, Felicia. And I, I'm literally done with her with the lies. Like, getting backstabbed. Like, I'm enough of my friends backstabbing me, lying to me. Whatever the hell it is, I'm done with it. I'm just done. I'm just done. And she's... she. That was her last straw. Let me see how long that's it goes. Oh, okay, it's not that long. So let me talk about, so, yet another one bites the dust. So, let, let her stay there with the trash. Okay, so, um, now I'm going to talk about some full TV shows. Um, I've been watching Screen Queens, and um, it's kind of silly, it's not scary. I know, I, I guess it's supposed to be, like, silly, I guess, that's what it's meant to be. <laughs> Excuse me. The only thing I like about it is that it's like 90s theme. Like this, they play a bunch of 90s songs in the show. They, I don't know, just this one girl's obsessed with the 90s and she's dressed as the 90s in the whole show. And I do like that aspect of it. I do like the acting. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. I love, um, what's her name? She's Julia Roberts' niece. I like her. Emma Roberts. I like her. But honestly, it's, it's I think it's a little bit too silly for me. A little bit too silly. Like it's, it's, it's it's like a spoof of a scary movie. It's like, it's like, it, it people are dying and stuff, but it's like they're making jokes and it's not even funny. I don't know. I, I didn't like it. I really don't like it. Once upon a time, season five came back. Love, love, love that show. Um, then Camelot now. Emma Swan turned dark through um, getting sucked by the darkness, whatever, what have you. And now she's the dark one. And we don't see, and I'm tempted to see what happened in those six weeks because they skip. The, we see them entering into Camelot, but we don't see what happens in Camelot. It skips six weeks later into the future, and then we see um, them back in Stoybrook. And um, Emma the, the, is fully transformed into the Dark One. And she said that you guys turned me into this. So I want to see what happened in those six weeks for them to turn her into the Dark One. Um, but the second episode just ha had, it It was good. What happened to the second? I liked the second episode. It was good. The premiere was a little bit better. I didn't like the Marita girl, the, 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 the Irish girl with the red curly hair, the, the one that's in Brave. I didn't like her. I didn't wa I never watched the movie Brave, so I really don't know who she is, but, like, I really did not like her. Um, but, yeah, so Once Upon a Time So Far is going good. I really like season four. So this season, I don't know. I mean, I really liked last season. And I love the first two seasons, and the third season was good too, but, you know, I think my favorite is the first two, but I love Once Upon a Time, so it's my favorite show. Okay, and then, um, okay, Bear Ghost Club, and I really had a show, um, is horrible. I think it's disgusting what they did to those poor girls, Jayla, Mina, and the twins, even though I really don't like Jayla. She's one of the, my least favorite Bear Girls of all time. I hate all the whole cast, because like, the only people I like are the, were the twins, and I like the new replacement, Ginger, but other than that, I don't like any of the cast. They're all annoying. They're all weak. They're retarded. Jayla wasn't weak. I'm not saying that, but I, she was annoying and I did not like her. <clears throat> um, but I think it was messed up what they did to all their stuff, like the pee and the throwing the stuff on, whatever. So then Jayla and the twins got sent home and there was three new replacements. Um, the rest of the season looks whack. The reunion, I heard that the reunion is supposed to be good. Cat fights Jayla. And then Jayla fight, uh, not, uh, Cat fights Ginger. Um, because Ginger and Kat have, like, this thing going on that, like, 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 that's having sex, and I guess there's some drama within that. Um, but other than that, I really can't stand the cast. I didn't like this season. I really liked the last season, the All-Star season, and, um, Chicago was whack, and Miami was whack with the jumping. The whole season was jumping. And then season 10 was alright, and my last, my, season I really enjoyed was season 9, and I liked 13. But, but 11, 12, um, this one is horrible. And the editing, what's with the editing, like... You're gonna, you get these bear girls together, you want to cause drama, like the production, like they manipulate stuff to cause drama, but then they don't show when it airs. They edit the shit out of it. What's the point of that? They never used to do that in all the other seasons, and then they wa then they wonder why the views are going down. They know why the views are going down. The editing sucks, and they can still continue to edit the shit like that, and the viewing just keeps going down and down. Less people are watching, and they don't care, really, because they're still editing the fights like crazy. Like, they really do. It, it's ridiculous. What's another show that I watch? Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Gotham. Gotham's getting better. The Joker just died in the last 
episode, we all know the Joker does not die. We all know that Jerome slash the Joker, we all know how that story ends. And we all know that even though in Gotham they're children right now, we all know that they grow up to be the, the iconic villains that they are. So even though the Joker supposedly died as a, we have old he is in the show, he's probably like, I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know. Um, we all know he doesn't die. We all know he grows up to be the Joker and he causes mayhem and craziness. I don't know what they're doing with that. I don't know why they that they killed him off the show. I mean, he can't be dead because we all know the Joker doesn't die until at least he becomes the Joker. He's not the Joker on the show. Like, none of them are who they are on the show. Like, the old children. And it's before they... It's before they be who they are, like, growing up, whatever. Like, this is the second season. I hope the third season skips a few years and they're actually much older and we get to see a lot more stuff because it can't be going, like, as their kids year after year, season after season. They need to skip a few years. They need to get a little older because they're way too young right now. And they need to show them actually becoming the villains and stuff because the show, I think that's what would really make the show better. Um, America's Next Top Model, oh my god. That one guy, that I'm not gonna say the deaf guy, cause that's not cool to, to name someone like that. Like his name is Niles, and he is hot. One of the sexiest things, sexier than any man I've seen in my life. And I just saw read something that he's like sexually fluid, which means that he goes both ways. That whatever the wind takes him, he could be into guys one day, and then he could be into girls the next. So he's the hottest thing in the world. He's he's gonna win America's Next Top Model season 22. He's gonna win. He's the best thing on the face of this planet. And then the, there was someone came back, the country boy. I don't know who the fuck he, what his name is, the country boy. And he should not have came back. I'm sorry, that photo was not all that. It really was. The best photo was Niles. Oh, he had the best photo. Um, but he always has the best photo. Uh, and then I love the, the country girl, the, 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 the country. I don't know if I call it the country girl. I don't know what her name is. She's really good. She's going to be in the top two with Niles. And um, the, the one African-American girl with the, the, the curly, curly hair. She's going to make it far too. But um, I like this season. As I said, Niles is the hottest thing in the face of the planet, and he's my favorite contestant ever on the show. Yeah. How old is Twelve minutes. I'm just gonna let you guys go. Those are basically the shows that I've been watching. Um, years ago, I filmed another sh a video. I upload that. I'm gonna go see my therapist now. Um, I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks, so I have a lot to tell her. A lot to tell her um, about that vasectomy surgery and about my about the girl on, on my friend who backstabbed me and lied to me. Um, what else? It's just so much stuff that's keep happening. It's ridiculous. So, um, that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, do you want to know what I have on my face? Lipstick, I have Angel by MAC. And it's mixed with a lip gloss that's similar to the color Angel. And it's by Sephora. And then on eyeshadow, I have the Chocolate Bar um, palette, and the two colors I have is Marzipan and Salted Caramel. And then I have on the crease, I put some Haughty Chocolate in there. Um, yeah. And that's it. So I'm going to do an empty. I have so many empties. Oh my god. I'm really going through my Bath and Body Works products. I'm making such great progress. Um, you guys are going to be really proud of me in the next empties video. I'm, I swear there's so many empties. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.